Hello guys, it's another video with Alexander and Emily. <laughs> so guys, another video is another time. So we decided that we wanted, wanted to make Bunuelo. I don't know, the Colombians will know that. So we're going to do shopping for it. So we'll take you guys along. Um, stay tuned. Bunuelo are some round stuff that are like spongy. Inside normally it has cheese. And yeah, it's very yummy. It's the first time that we are going to be making this. Even me as a Colombian is the first time. We normally buy it. Um, they are selling it for one ton peso. Yeah. For one of it. It's not dear. I'm not saying it's expensive. Actually, it's normal. But they are so small, guys. Yeah. Like, with one bite and it disappears. Literally. <laughs> it's so, better you make Yeah, we're going to make ours. <laughs> so, we decided to make ours. So, we put you guys along the process. And make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification button. So guys, we are looking for Pongo para hornear. But I don't really remember where it's located or how it's in English. I think it's baking soda. Baking, baking soda. soda, probably. I really I don't know. So. See, I don't know. Please guys, I'm not a cooking person or baking person, so... Well, I'm going to ask someone that works here. Yes, I do the Yeah. Gracias. Gracias. And the lady helped us and gave us the polvo para hornear, which, as I mentioned before, I think is baking soda. Yeah. Great. That's one. Two, we need the bunuelo powder, the bunuelo mix. She shows this one, which is the mark of the, the shop, the literally. Market, yeah. Supermarket. It's very cheap, even. Do you see that? Yeah, they sell, and they sell one. one yeah, yeah, they sell one literally for. They sell one literally for how much? One thousand. And the powder is like three thousand. And look at the, the huge profit and the huge gain, literally. Say three hundred grams. This is actually two hundred grams. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be enough. This is two hundred grams. How much she's making? That's the other thing. Guys, here yeah, we're back home and um, we're about to start the baking or the um, toasting, whatever it is. I don't know, literally with the bonuelo. It's frying, guys, frying. <laughs> so, we're about, to, so we're about to start the frying. So, we bought the bonuelo, we bought two packs of the bonuelo. You can see the bonuelo over here. And um, also, we bought the, um, what's it called? Costin, costino? Queso costeño. Costeño, Costeño, mm -hmm. Costeño, um, like salty cheese, salty cheese, yeah. and also got uh, butter, which was not me that we are not going to use. For baking powder, yeah, yeah, so about baking powder, so everything literally was about 42, 650, that is about uh, nine dollar, if I'm not mistaken, nine to. Ten, ten dollars, ten, eleven dollars, yeah, like ten, eleven dollars. It was cheap. I'm surprised because I thought this was more. Yeah. The bunuelo um powder. I thought it was more money. So yeah. those guys are really making money. Yeah, they sell, they sell one bunuelo and very small, I guess. Let's show them. Let's sell one. Okay, let's show. We're gonna show you guys the bunuelo right now. It's small. So see the one but. And for me, it doesn't have color. Because <laughs> it should be a bit more brownish. Yeah. For me. I don't know how others eat it, but 
Yeah. So we're about to make actually the same thing, mm -hmm. but all made, not street made. You get me? Yeah. Okay. So first thing first, the bunuelo flour, the bunuelo flour, which was three hundred grams. Two spoon of sugar. We are using brown sugar because that's what we normally use. That's what we have. Um, next we have is the um, polvo para hornear. Baking ¿Qué soda. Es eso? Uh -huh, baking soda. <laughs> we guess yes, baking soda. The baking soda we are going to use two little spoon. Since we our spoon is a bit big, so we will just put like one spoon. Let's say. One spoon of baking soda. Polvo para hornear. Let's see, chef, you know, let's, let's chef it. Um, next, we will put is the three eggs, but not as yet. First, come along with me as I greet her. So now we are mixing the cheese. Next, now we break three eggs. And these three eggs, we mixed it in this here. Then we start to stir the whole mixture. While my baby is putting all that together, you have to make sure you mix it all together. You know, how is it going, B? Just there. <laughs> Trying to be a chef right now. You have to make sure it's not sticky to the pot and also not sticky to your hand. So we just add like four to five spoon of water. And meanwhile, we'll be preparing the pot with the hot oil. We may we have to have a deep the fry. fry pot yeah. and the the oil and so we have to make sure it's to medium medium heat not too high okay we have three already here very small coming up and the oil is hot in here Let's see. Oh, let's say it looks like a bath. <laughs> yes, I'm molding it. It's gonna be as use the two hand, but I'm molding it with my one hand because it's so they run out now. <laughs> Not so we they run out. <laughs> <laughs> We already start to fry the bunuelos, finger cross, <laughs> they will fry very well. I mean, some of them are getting color already, so I guess that's a good sign. Um, they should get puffy and have colors. So, let's see, let's see. It's coming, it's cooking. Yeah, we're trying. We'll show you guys the final product. What about the taste? Um, I'm about to taste our work. I guess it's gonna be nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Nice, crunchy. Good. The last one coming out. The only thing here is that some of them get burst open. Yeah. Can someone let us know why does that happen? Or next, for next time, what to do for it not to burst open? Got some of them. See, we cut this one. It burst open. It's like it have two heads. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
still have the rabbit, Christmas rabbit. Almost finished. So they're looking crispy, crispy. So this is what we prepare most for Christmas. For Christmas, yeah. Buñuelo in Colombia they eat a lot for Christmas. Natilla also. Uh, normally on the Dia las Velitas and the Christmas Day, that's what they eat a lot. Buñuelo, natilla. This one is almost perfect, you know? Maybe one day we will show you guys how to make natilla. Comment down below if you want to know how to make natilla. So this one is the one that we bought and this is the one that we made. Homemade. Homemade. <laughs> um, street, 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 street food. Street food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, babe, let's try the Buñuelo. So, so guys, this is the streets sweet. I mean, obviously it's hard, not fresh. And this is the one we made. I'm gonna test it. House is more crunchy, more nice and more sweet. Happy class. <laughs> Come to the end of the video, we showed you how it looks and how it tastes. I prefer ours. So, if you know the reason why it was busted in there, you can let us know. Let us know in the comments so we can adjust that. And uh, make sure you hit the like button, hit the post notification button, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, comment something down below you think we can do better. And remember, we love, love you. you. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>